Hey, real quick, we put some designs back up on Teespring. I'm always feeling blue, the Diamond Crashers, Roundtable Black and Blue, Retro Primo, and there's more coming soon, link in the description. Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Box, and today I want to talk about Rose's chest. No, no, not, not like that kind of chest. You, you, the, the treasure chest in Lion's Mane. Now, we've been aware of this chest existence for about four years now. I'm pretty sure Lion 3 aired all the way back in 2014. Back in Season 1, we are at the end of Season 5 now, and we have no idea what's in that chest. And chances are, we won't know until Season 6, since there's only one more episode left in Season 5. But what could it be? Everything inside Lion's Mane is tied to the secrets of Rose Quartz Pink Diamond. The flag? Bismuth? The tape to Steven? Everything is tied to a motive. But at this point, I think we're all out of motives. Anything else we're going to learn about Pink Diamond likely won't be through Earth. It'll be through Homeworld, through White Diamond, and any visions of the past. Now, the chest has been in my mind lately because my friend brought it up on Twitter. And for the first time, I really just took a good look at the chest. And I really feel like the answer was just sticking out in front of me. Look at that chest. I've compared it to other chests. It's not a super common design. And design is important. This chest likely wasn't just thrown into the episode of the last minute storyboarded in to look cool. And we know something valuable must be in there because they drew attention to it in Lion 4. Well, when I look at the chest, you know what I see? You wanna know what the gold on the chest reminds me of? Really look at it. It looks like a sword. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe this is tied to some sort of sword, whether or not a sword's actually in there or it's something that can make a sword. And considering the fact that Blue Diamond shattered Rose's sword, we're going to need a new one. Now, I do have a few ideas. Maybe Pink Diamond had a sword that she used in battle to differentiate herself from Rose Quartz. Because she can't exactly go running into battle summoning a shield without people going, oh, wait, that shield's familiar. And I'm not sure how credible the flashback in Gem Cation still is, but it did insinuate anyway Garnet did face up against Pink Diamond at some point, although that weapon did not resemble a sword. Although that takes me to a second possibility, the look of a sword within this chest doesn't necessarily mean it's a sword, it just means it's a melee weapon, which could have been those melee weapons. Either way, we know the diamonds can get down and scrap through the reunited. And as we saw in Jogamoon, Pink Diamond can hit pretty hard, and she was a fighter as Rose Quartz. So I don't doubt that Pink herself, without the disguise of Rose Quartz, actually participated in the gem war, and had a weapon to accompany her. A weapon that after everything was said and done, she had to keep secret. She couldn't put it in her armory because that was a the crystal gem armory. She couldn't risk leaving it in the landfill she created behind her ship because on the off chance any other crystal gem came across that landfill and saw that sword, they would have some questions. So she decided to just keep it in a chest. And at whatever point Lion got resurrected and Rose discovered the pocket dimension, she left it there. Not only out of sight, out of mind, but when the time came, Steven could open the chest and obtain the sword for himself. Maybe she wanted to give Steven the option between Rose Quartz's sword and Pink Diamond's sword. As we know from Lion 2, Rose Quartz's sword was already in the main. Now the third and final option I want to present, and one that I think is a bit more likely than the other two, is that if this chest is related to a sword, it's not the sword itself, but rather the material to make a sword. Rose's sword definitely had a unique look to it, and the sword was designed to poof a gem, but never shatter one. That's probably not easy to pull off, and I refuse to believe that any kind of material will be able to do such a thing. I think there's a certain material, a material not known to Earth, but known to Homeworld, that could produce a weapon such as Rose's sword. When Steven and the gang get back from Homeworld, there's going to be an inevitable discussion about Connie lacking a sword. I can see Bismuth remarking, well, I could make another sword, but the material used to craft Rose's original sword isn't native to Earth. There should have been some left over, but I don't know what happened to it. Maybe Rose put it somewhere. To which Steven will eventually connect the dots, or knowing Steven Universe, he'll go off on a completely separate adventure, wanting to unlock the treasure chest for a completely unrelated reason, only to obtain the key and inadvertently find the rest of the material, present it to Bismuth, and bam, Connie has a new sword. A sword that, once again, can cut through a gem's physical form, but spare their gemstone. And it would make sense that Rose would leave this extra material behind for Steven. Maybe she did account for the sword breaking one day, and thought to herself, hmm, I'll leave the remaining material here, so in the event that Steven breaks the sword, he'll eventually unbubble Bismuth, who I'm also leaving in this main, and she can create a new one. As for missing the key, perhaps Rose just thought, eh, he'll be a strong boy, he can just break it open. But of course, Steven didn't think of that, or perhaps Rose just gave Pearl the key and said, hey, don't question this, just put this key in your gemstone. Pearl, not questioning anything, because she's blinded by love for Rose. You know the Bojack quote, when you're wearing rose tinted glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. 
bags. And without question, Pearl just put the key in her gemstone. So perhaps when Steven is enticed to find the key to this chest, Pearl could be like, oh, you mean this key? Yeah, it was just in my gemstone, you know? Where I keep everything alphabetized, and this will definitely probably come back into play later. Yeah, that works. But what do you guys think? What could be inside Rose's treasure chest? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts related to me at Autric Thoughts, or at The Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help The Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and your name can be at the end of the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vots, out.